<laughs> well, when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi. Visit my granny and her antebellum world. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees free as a song. One day I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoebox, punched a couple holes in the top. Sunday came, snuck him into church. I'm sitting way back in the very last pew. Showing him to my good buddy Hugh when that squirrel got loose, went totally berserk. What happened next is hard to tell. Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell. But the fact that something was among us was plain to see. As the choir sang, I surrender all. The squirrel run up hard in Newland's coveralls. Harv leaped to his feet, said, Something's got a hold on me. Yeah! The day the squirrel went berserk. First self righteous church in that sleepy little town of Tuscaloosa. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shouting, Hallelujah! Harv hit the aisle dancing and screaming. Some thought he had religion, others thought he had a demon. Harv thought he had a weed eater losing his fruit of the loom. <laughs> Fell to his knees to plead and beg. The squirrel ran out of his breeches leg, unobserved, to the other side of the room. All the way down to the amen pew where sat Sister Bertha, better than you, who'd been watching all the commotion with sadistic glee. <laughs> Should have seen that look in her eyes when that squirrel jumped her garters and crossed her thighs. She jumped to her feet and said, Lord, have mercy on me. As that squirrel made laps inside her dress, she began to cry and then to confess to sins, make a sailor blush with shame. Yes, Woo. She told of gossip and church dissension, but the thing that got the most attention is when she talked about her love life. And then she started naming names the day the squirrel went berserk in the first self-righteous church. In that sleepy little town of Pascagoula It was a fight for survival That broke out in revival They were jumping pews and shouting Hallelujah! Seven deacons and a pastor got saved $25,000 was raised 50 volunteered for missions in the Congo on the spot <laughs> Even without an invitation there were at least 500 rededications. We all got rebaptized, whether we needed it or not. Yeah. <laughs> now you've heard that Bible story, I guess, how he parted the waters for Moses to pass. All oh, the miracles God has wrought in this old world. But the one I'll remember till my dying day is how he put that church back on a narrow way with a half-crazed Mississippi squirrel. The day the squirrel went berserk In the first self-righteous church In that sleepy little town of Pascagoula It was a fight for survival That broke out in revival They were jumping pews and shouting Hallelujah Whoa, oh, they were jumping pews and shouting Hallelujah These clips are great, but to see full episodes, go to CountryRoadTV.com.